Hi there, my name is Pat Cadham from Pat's Garage. You're here today to watch us go through the process of converting a Toyota Prius into a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. There'll be a series of steps we go through today where we strip out the interior of the car, make room for the A123 high motion battery module that we're going to drop in the car later. Uh, the first stage will be taking panels apart, accessing wiring harnesses, uh, pulling part of the dash apart, removing some of the interior components that get in the way of the conversion. Uh, We'll then wire up a harness that allows our battery pack to communicate with the existing Prius. What's going to happen is we're not turning this car into an electric car. We're turning it into a much more efficient hybrid. Uh, we've taken out the spare tire and the trunk floor mat and we are taking out the paneling to expose the OEM Prius battery pack to splice in the new wiring harness. Right now I'm going to take out the uh, orange Prius service plug and it's important to wear these safety gloves to protect yourself from the high voltage in case anything goes wrong. It's pretty simple, it just clicks up and out and it's off. So I've just taken off the last uh, battery cover from the Prius battery pack and now we've exposed the high voltage terminals that we're going to hook up to. In just a second we're going to splice the A123 wiring harness into uh, this plug which is the battery computer and also uh, this plug right here. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna plug these plugs back in so it gets its original shape back and then I'll be able to go back over this new wiring harness that I put in with electrical tape to protect it and also to keep it neat and looking a little better. Okay, so right now I'm going to splice in this red wire into the tail light so that when the pack is charging, the tail lights illuminate so it lets the consumer know that the pack is charging and when the pack is fully charged, the tail lights will go off. Okay, what I'm going to do right now is uh, route the rest of this wiring harness up to the front, hook up a switch and an LED and splice in a couple of the wires and then the wiring will be done and we'll drop in the actual unit into the trunk of the car. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take apart the dash. I'm gonna take off this, uh, this panel, this top panel, and this bottom panel and uh, it's gonna make room for the wiring harness. So what I've done is I've uh, taken out this plug uh, from the wiring harness and I've routed this white wire all the way from the back up here and I'm going to basically just plug it in and what it allows the Prius to do is um, act in electric only mode so it acts exactly like an electric vehicle. I am going to connect this wire from the same wiring harness into the power button on the dashboard of the Prius so that when you go ahead and you turn the Prius on, uh, it activates the system. I'm going to drill two holes in this blank switch. Uh, one hole is going to be for the main switch that just turns the system on or off. And the second hole is gonna be for the LED, which just lets you know that the system is on. And basically I will go ahead and plug that back into the wiring harness and it'll be complete. Okay, what I've just done is I've installed this vent on the outside of the unit 
and what it does is it helps cool the batteries and I will also be hooking up another part of the vent which will then go into the bumper and it'll go outside the car. These are some rubber mats um, that are going to be underneath the unit and what uh, they do is they, uh, they help reduce the vibration to the body of the car. All right, so what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna put this towel down over the unit to protect it because I'm gonna be working over it for the next couple minutes. And um, then I'm gonna attach these two brackets to the side and we're gonna bolt it and secure it to the vehicle and then hook up um, two of the high voltage uh, connections. Since this is a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole in the bumper, uh, which will give us an outlet so you can plug this car in at home and recharge it. So the plug-in hybrid electric vehicle uh, conversion is complete and now we're gonna plug it in and then take it for a spin.